people come in with a lot of um, ambiguity around what is coaching. There's a lot of confusion around these terms of coaching, mentoring, training, guidance, um, very, very loosely used. And, you know, to change that and say, hey, you know what, this is a new way of helping somebody where I really don't have to give all the solutions. Um, that is, I have seen as a big revolution for learners who are on this journey, saying that just being there, just listening and just holding space for somebody else, uh, being curious, one is able to take another person through their own personal discovery and transformation journey. So that is the biggest I've seen as a theme that comes across when people go through this, um, you know, uh, learning journey, uh, being part of uh, the Kujaria cohort, being part of the training program. When you say that you are a coach, right, there are some, some standards that uh, we want people to operate at. So there's a huge drive around those um, competencies. But the beauty also is of that uh, ICF program, which we are uh, uh, largely focusing on, is is also about evidencing, right? So there's a lot of things that needs to be embodied. Uh, we can't say that I know everything about active listening. I can read a book about it. I can watch videos. I can learn. But how do you show up in the moment? Do you really listen when it happens? So a big part of our um, uh, uh, the coach training program that we run is is around that evidencing piece. Uh, I believed I knew it all because I've been working for 30 years. I was seriously old by that time, right? Uh, and so you you just believe that you know it all, right? And and then you come into a space where you have to unlearn everything you know, and and that's um, you know that's quite a, quite a journey. So the good news is I think almost 80 to 90 percent of the folks that have worked who have you know, worked with us as in, 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 the, in the learning journey seems to have been able to do that. We believe that no individual is in a cocoon and, you know, just trying to work with themselves certainly is not going to help them change much. They have to be able to engage with their environment. So this, the system becomes a big part of who we, who we are. And, uh, you know, whether, it's, whether it is in the as the journey as a coach or as a coach when you work with somebody else with a client the whole concept of thinking of the system as a whole and how you engage with it and how you interact with it is important so systemic view of uh, coaching is one fundamental philosophy right the second is engagement happens only when you have the ability to engage in an emotionally intelligent way so uh, Emotional intelligence and the whole concept of, uh, you know, emotions, thoughts, feelings, all of that is part of what we work with. And, and the whole EI piece actually is a fundamental of all of coaching. I mean, you can't work with as a coach unless you start engaging with your own feelings and with the feelings of the client. Right. So emotions become an understanding, being able to uh, learn, engage with emotions becomes a big part of it. Now, in the foundation program, uh, you know, like Priya was talking about earlier, the focus is on competencies. And a lot of the competencies has to do with the whole emotional intelligence space, right? Almost everything that is there, it's all various ways of defining that. So our primary focus in the foundation program is primarily competencies, which with a lot of pieces around EI and things like that. What we do help the uh, learner to understand is appreciate the systemic view. 